What's up, Internet World? We're the News 19 Nerds. I'm Leroy. I'm Michael. And we're going to do something a little different. We're going to watch a trailer. We don't know much about the series. So we're going to be very invested in the characters on screen without having any knowledge of the backstory. Isn't that what we do all the time? No. Oh. Sometimes we have a lot of information, like too much information. Yeah. And then we go on tangents, and then we end up talking about... I don't know how much I love Michael B. Jordan. I, I was going to bring that up. <laughs> yeah. And I've been waiting for him all my life. Yeah. And that Coming to America might be the most perfect movie. Yeah. But we won't do that here. Because <laughs> we don't know anything about yeah. Shadow and Bone. Sh Shadow and Bone, based on a YA series, um, series of young adult novels. That's all, all I know. And I know people are excited. I know that it was published in 2012 uh -huh. by Israeli guy. Woman. Woman. Yep. Oh, you tricked me. I didn't. You said, oh, yeah, you did. I didn't. You said it was a he. I never said that. You said he nope. is Israeli. No. Never once said Oh, man, I wish we were rolling when that happened. Because <laughs> I could have proved it. Okay. Anyway. Yep. The woman who wrote this. Yes. Uh, has a very popular fan base. Yes. So Netflix is hoping they turn out and turn up. Yes. Uh, Shadow and Bone is the first teaser for this series, a lot of people are very excited for it. Mm -hmm. um, Michael saw the, the the clip, the thumbnail, so we're gonna see. We're gonna get in. We're, we're, we're gonna dive in. Y'all yep. ready? We're ready. Press Let's play. The shadow fold. A scar on the map. A Torah country in two. I'll make it. Promise. To destroy it, we need a miracle. going to change the world. I'm interested. I'm invested. I don't I don't really know anything else about it, but I'm interested. I don't know shit about this and I'm like what is going on? I mean, apparently she has a Patronus of some kind. Sir, sir, we're not using those terms here. I'm, I am relating the <clears> stuff <throat> that I know. I little know. I know a little bit more about Harry Potter. It look at if I assume their boat was attacked and she produced some sort of Patronus or a spell that knocked these people out. We don't know if it was a Patronus. It could just be her. I just, that's true. <clears throat> it could be. She could be powerful enough to do this on her own. Don't try to take this from this girl in Women's History Month. It's people like you that's be holding us down. Who is us? The women. <laughs> All right. Okay. They're, they're off camera. They're off camera. <laughs> yeah. Great. 
<laughs> Actually, that's not good on my part because why can't they be on camera? Yeah, that's. <laughs> you, you put yourself in this situation. Oh, we're both. Oh, are we the patriarchy? Oh, God. No, we're not patriarchy. <laughs> you and I are not the patriarchy. Um, but <laughs> you said that like we're lower class. <laughs> I know what I said. <laughs> I know what I said. Um, but I yeah. said we weren't going to go on a tangent. I mean, I, I, if you if you are watching this channel, we go on tangents. That's what we do. Um, but yeah, this looks great in terms of this looks the, amazing. the set production and the set design. Now, granted, it is Netflix, so we know Netflix just has all the money. That Netflix just spends money and money. Net I still don't know how they make money. Netflix because they're always in debt. You know what Netflix but, is? I don't know. Netflix is the dad who gets the kid on the weekends. It shows them a great time. It shows them a great time. all this stuff. It's like, I want to live with dad. Yeah. And it's like, that's because you don't have to go to school every day with dad. And dad just uses his money yeah. and just shows you a great time. Because, yeah. like, that looked better. I know it's a YA series. But that TV series looked better. And I know I'm about to give a hot take. Divergent. Remember the Divergent series? That looked better than that, and I am going to call it. What you about to say? It looked better than the first couple of Hunger Game movies. Towards the end, they got like they they got some money, I, but the first two, I won't disagree, and I won't. I, I don't know only because I saw those movies a long time ago, so I don't remember them. But I, I see, remember them. I see them a lot. Oh, do you? Uh, fair enough. Because I, uh, but I remember those, like District Thirteen and all the districts looking poor anyway. Yeah. So I felt like maybe that's what they were going for. But the thing is, is it District Thirteen? Which gonna, district is it? I'm gonna say this, and it's gonna sound wrong, but there's different colors to poor. Like there, like there's urban poor, there's rural poor, there's industrial poor. Mm -hmm. They were just poor. Like they, they I, I need poor. some little bit of diversity in your poor. And I'm like, it's hard on them streets of Pan. See what's like? Uh, that's what I'm saying. Is like, it Pan Am. It's Pan Am. Dang. Yeah, I remember a lot of this from the movie. That's sad. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. Like, all right. But yeah, like it just it looked all the same poor. And I'm like, change your poor up. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. You know what I'm talking about, though. I do. <laughs> see, change your see, poor. See, change. Hey, Lucia, hashtag that. Change your poor. I won't um, be a part of that movement, <laughs> sir. But no, I mean, the, the production for Shadow and Bone. And I will say this. It's only eight episodes, so that's probably good for it. Yeah. So they don't have to, like, do 26 Let's episodes. Let's not do these Marvel uh, Netflix shows. Well, not only that. Episodes of uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. had to do 26 episodes on network television. Every you episode, pure gold. Lies. <laughs> and not every episode was pure gold. I will say towards the end of the show series. They Did got... you watch it? No. I watched the first two seasons. And then I got Get off before here. Ghost Rider Get showed. Get out of here. Um, but no, like it's it's eight episodes. So we're looking at something that's compact. I'm quite sure for the people who read the books, they're going to skip over a lot. Because it's a lot to get in. Well, I wonder, <clears throat> since we didn't read the books and we're uncultured, I wonder how much of this series is going to cover what part of the books. Well, like what I'm maybe, maybe it's just one book? Or what is it what I'm books? saying is, like, for eight episodes, how much are they going to... Like, is, is this the first book, second book? Mm -hmm. And how in-depth will they go? But I will say that it looks like they did not scrimp any money on production value. It looks great. And it looks amazing. And I don't know anything about these that characters. That monster that was behind that one guy's like, oh, auntie, you're going to make it. It looks like the characters have chemistry, which is a very, that was one of the big problems in the Divergent series. They did not like Shailene Woodley. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Dude. I don't follow this behind the scenes stuff. I don't That's know. why they never made the last one. I mean, I thought they didn't make the last one because they didn't make no money. They didn't make any money and they did not like Shailene Woodley. No, that's not, that's not. <laughs> she rubbed some people the wrong way. Oh, uh, oh what's the, uh, the sexy dude that was in um, the Netflix show with um, Forrest Whitaker? <clears throat> where he was like trying to save Forrest Whitaker's daughter. You know what? I, anyway, so there was some behind the scenes. Let us know in the chat what he's talking about. There were some behind the scenes of some people not getting along, and that also led to some of the problems on this in the movies themselves because there was some problems with the actors and the chemistry involved. Oh. Um, so, and if you go back to look at it, we're not not I'm not looking at just YA series, but I'm looking at series in general. If you look at Harry Potter, if you look at uh, those actors and actresses 
all got a long. Yeah. And that helps when you have a group of people who sure. are, are doing this, telling the story of a long, finite amount of movies or television shows yeah. that they like each other. That yeah. comes off on screen. If you go back and look at The Hunger Games, you could tell Jennifer Lawrence actually enjoyed working with all of those people. So, I mean, a random tangent, but you know, like the girls in Sex and City didn't get along. Like, yeah, they didn't like, yeah. But, but apparently, the chemistry was good. But people said, I guess maybe their animosity towards towards each other helped fuel the scene. The problem with that know. was is that supposedly uh, Kim Cattrall and Cattrall, Cattrall uh, the lady from Star Trek, Mannequin. Because that's who I know her from. Wasn't she from Mannequin? No. Well, she might have been, but yeah. she was a Vulcan in Undiscovered Country. Okay. Uh, her and the lady with the three names. Sarah Jessica Parker. Thank you. Did not get along. Yeah. To the point where they're rebooting the show. And she's like, I'm, I don't need to go back. F that lady. Like, she is adamant. And she's like, and I won't be talking about it anymore. <laughs> All right, cool. She's like, like, yeah, so chemistry's a big deal. And mm -hmm. I think what's really going to help them is that they have a lot of young actors on this. Mm -hmm. And they have Ben Barnes, uh, also known as Jigsaw. When I saw him, I was like, that's Jigsaw. That's Jigsaw. I was like, you're the guy, you're Jigsaw. I was like Punisher should have killed you. Um, he's a very, Ben Barnes is a very good actor. We saw him in Westworld. Mm -hmm. And having him in there gives you a little bit, I don't want to say credibility, but it gives you an older person, someone a little bit more gravitas, because I'm quite sure he's he's got that, that suave kind of, you know, he's like, what are you? And he's like, oh, we're going to change the world. Did he whisper? <laughs> Maybe they just had a better mic. I felt like you whispered and you didn't. I, whispered I felt it more from here than I, and it was closer to you. I, I whispered it for dramatic effect. Okay. Because that's what Ben Barnes does. He's dramatic. He's an actor. He's powerful. Yeah. I don't know where this is going anymore. Anyway, um, I like the trailer. <laughs> yes. I did. I really did. Um, yeah. I'm really, I'm actually like, this is something I would watch with my wife. Um, she'd probably try to trick me into read the books. And I'll like be like, no. And then secretly go read them. And then be watching the show be like, oh, such and such. And she, like, how do you know that? Ha ha! I tricked you. Um, so I'm interested. I'm down. Yeah, I'm down too. Um, people who have actually read the series, let us know what we're missing. Some of the stuff in the... Trust me, they will. I know, but I would have felt like, at least if I put it out there, I felt like we were working it's, on it together. It's the internet. It's the internet. <laughs> but yeah, let us know some of the Easter eggs that are big things we should Easter eggs? Man, we don't even know the plot. <laughs> I'm going to just assume this girl has tremendous power. Yep. That's cool. Let's go. Um, yeah, let us know in the comments here on YouTube. You can also find us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, WOTX.com. Like, comment, subscribe, find the little bell to let us know, or you let, we'll let you know when we have more videos, however that goes. I don't know. And we have